Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Nastasia. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and turn those post notifications on if you haven't already. For today's video, I'm sharing with you guys the second video in my home renovation series. If you guys missed the last one, I did a DIY bathroom makeover. I'll be sure to link it down below so you guys can check that out. But for today's video, we are doing a extreme entryway makeover. I absolutely love the way this turned out. Also, what I did in today's video is I did share some renter friendly options even though I own this home I gave you guys alternatives and other ideas you could do if you are renting so this video is perfect for absolutely anyone I will have everything that I use linked in the description box down below don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and without further ado we can just jump right into it all right so for today's video we're gonna be making over the entryway while we wait for the living room furniture to arrive I really wanted to get started since this is the first thing that you will see when you walk in so I love the arches here and I think it makes such a statement. The only thing that I'm thinking of changing in here is I do feel that the all white paint is just a little too much and I think there does need to be some sort of contrast. So I definitely wanna create some sort of accent wall. I'm definitely thinking of scraping the popcorn off of the ceiling, changing out the light. We're probably going to go ahead and polish the doorknobs and definitely going to change up the floor. So I hope it looks a lot better when we're done with it but that is just kind of like my overall plan with this space in general all right so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to remove the light fixture because it needs to be removed before um we can start the process i was actually able to get this off quite easily and it came off all in one piece. So usually I have a little bit of hard time with the electrical. So I'm using my ladder. I love it because it has this little wedge here and that is where I'm storing all of my little tools that I need for this project to scrape the popcorn off the ceiling. So definitely make sure you have a mask to wear because you do not want to inhale any of the popcorn. I'm using a set of gloves. This is actually what I use for my hair and it has a really strong mist to it so it'll be perfect for this project. And then I have two different size scrapers here to scrape the ceiling with. Okay, so this is super simple to remove this popcorn. I thought it was like a hard process, but it's not at all. All you do is take like a spray bottle or a spray machine with water and you wanna get this really saturated. So I'm just using this mister that I use on my hair. It has a really strong like long mist to it. And I'm getting the corner, this like little area in here, just nice and wet. It is gonna be kind of messy because the popcorn when it comes down is really like wet and sticky. And you wanna scrape it until you get like the first layer of the popcorn off. I know you can tell because it'll be smooth, but make sure that you're not getting anything thicker than this because you definitely don't wanna put holes in the actual ceiling. You're just scraping off the first top layer. I'm gonna go ahead and continue the rest and then I will check in with you guys in a few minutes when I've gotten a little bit more of it done. All right, home stretch, we are on this last little section. This came off quite easily. It's a pretty simple process, so I would definitely recommend if you still have popcorn in your home to remove it, and you can totally do this project yourself. It's not hard at all. Um, the hardest part is after it's over, just making sure that this is nice and smooth. But other than that, it pretty much comes off quite easily. As you can see, this side came off in like another just huge chunk, so I'm gonna get the rest of this off. Then as I mentioned, it will need to be sanded down and repainted obviously. All right, so next we're just gonna sand this area down and it's pretty simple for this project since the area is so small. I will show you guys in a future video if you are taking off the popcorn in a larger room, there's a few more steps that you might wanna do. But since the space we're working on is so small, this is gonna be super easy. And this is what you are gonna look like when you're done sanding the top. Obviously you're gonna get dirty. So don't wear any clothes that you care about. 
and I, the goggles and the mask are a must. Definitely make sure you're wearing some sort of mask when you're dealing with paint. You do not want to inhale the fumes. I'm using this small roller. This is like my favorite thing to paint with. Um, and this is a small area, so it should work. And I'm just going with a flat white color. The accent color will go on the other walls. But for this, again, I'm just using like a flat white. All right, guys, I had my grandpa help me put the light up and the closet door hits it. So we are going to have to go with another option for the light, but I do love this one. It's from Pottery Barn. So I got something a little bit smaller, so hopefully that works out better. Yes, grandpa? Oh, you don't, just, yeah, just make sure there's no power. That's what I was doing. So you put the plate on first. No, you the bracket. It helps you hold the wire. Otherwise, you can't hold the wires and do all that at one time. Oh, so that's all you have to do. You connect the white wire to the white wire that's already there? Yes. The white to the white and the black to the black. And if you touch one at a time and the power's on, it will not shock you. Oh, okay. But you gotta touch one at a time, and if you touch anything else while you got the power's not off, you'll get shocked. Oh, you did it fast. I'm a professional. Good. Now, what you do, need to do is put the globe. Take that black screw off. Okay, let me grab on the little screws. A moment of truth. Okay. Let's see if you can open the door. Yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Tell you what your dad told me a long time when we worked together. Uh -huh. Pops, I'll never learn if you don't let me well, do, let me it. do it. <laughs> I said, but Ron, I'm gonna show you next time. We just gotta hurry. <laughs> I don't have time to wait for you to learn. <laughs> I'll yeah, show you we, next time. Yeah, yeah, we've been in a hurry all the time. I said, I said I, next time, right? Because I want to get wherever we were. I want to get out of that. Okay. So you got it tight enough? Yes. Yeah, Next, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this cane console. I read the reviews and everyone pretty much had the same thing to say, that it's a super orange tone color, which isn't the greatest. So I'm gonna go in with actually a black paint and I'm gonna actually turn this into a black cane console. This is the paint that I'm gonna be using. It's just a flat black paint and then I'm using one of these super small rollers. It'll be perfect for the size of this console. Not sure how many coats this is going to require. It might take two coats. So I'm gonna get the first coat on and then I think the roller will work good, but you're going to need a brush as you see to get into the cane detailing because that has all the little areas and like holes that you will need. So I successfully got the first coat of paint on here. It definitely needs a second coat as well as it's gonna need some touch-ups in here. I'm gonna go ahead and get that second coat of paint on here as well as try and do some of the touch-ups and then I will check in with you guys when that is done. All right, to save time, I'm gonna attempt to just use this brush to do some of the edges and kind of see if it works out because that's what this is intended for. Probably gonna have to use painter's tape, but trying it the lazy way just to kind of see what happens? Oh wait, you actually get a really beautiful line with this. Whoa, okay. This brush, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It gives you like the straightest line ever. Wow, okay, this is worth it. I definitely need to pick more of these up. I'm gonna continue painting the rest of this. Oh. Wow. This is crazy. 
All right, so all the hardware has been put on. We have the new fixture and everything. Now moving on to the floor. So this DIY option is amazing if you're like me and you're trying to decide on what floor color you want. For me, this tiling actually runs all the way to the first level and within the second level. So it's a huge commitment to change it and I really wanna make sure I choose the right color. So I'm gonna be using the peel and stick tiles, but this is also a great DIY if you are renting. So I'm going to put down this brown paper onto the floor first and I'm gonna stick these on top of the brown paper. That way they aren't actually affixed to the floor. I feel like it will be easier when we do take this tiling out just so we don't have to rip those off first. Now, if you do wanna stick these down, they will come off with a hairdryer and some goof off. But again, if you're renting, totally would recommend this option. I just wanna experiment with a couple different colors. So that's why I'm using the paper. And then once I decide on a color, I will take this out. I've actually been doing my research on how to remove this. So if you guys wanna see a DIY and see me take out all of this ceramic tile, let me know in the comments down below. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this flooring in and then show you guys what it looks like. All right, almost done laying the floor down. It looks amazing, but as I went, I wanted to decorate this little area first. So you guys already saw, I did switch out the hardware on the cabinets as well as the door handles, but in this little nook, I wanted to decorate. So I have a little photo that I got from Home Goods, and then the Studio McGee wood garland. Of course, I'll link everything down below. I will try and find this little print. I do know it's numbered, so it might be hard to find since it is like a limited edition print. I definitely think this area needs a few more items, but I like to start off with more of a simple layout. That way over time, as I go shopping, I can find like cooler pieces to add in here as opposed to over decorating and then seeing other things I want and then just having a ton of excess decor. So definitely something to think about when you're decorating. I'm going to probably add, I would say like two more things, but I want them to be like very cool, maybe like vintage pieces that I find, you know, here and there. But for now, I think that looks really pretty just like that. Okay, the floor is done. I definitely think going with like a stone concrete floor is a good option. However, I do wanna try a few different floors out here. As I mentioned earlier, so this is just one option. But for now, I could definitely see concrete being laid here. Obviously, it wouldn't have as many different tones in it just because this is like faux flooring, but it's just to give yourself the idea or like I said, to switch up things super quickly if you are in a rental. All right, so I added in the console. It looks amazing after being painted. I definitely just didn't think that the color matched in here. And that's one of the big complaints about that piece is it does come a very orange tone wood, but a few layers of paint can totally change that. And I absolutely love this piece. I posted it on Instagram and so many of you guys were like, wait, where did you get that? I've never seen that before. So that is a Target piece. I will try and link it down below if it's still available. It does come in a few different sizes, but would highly recommend painting it a different color just to make it match things a little bit more. All right, guys, I'm so excited to style the top of this console. I feel like I've been working on this concept for quite some time and I knew exactly what I wanted. So first I'm adding in this piece from Home Goods. I like layering artwork sometimes as opposed to hanging it up, so I'm just going to layer this piece here. I realize that photo has a glare. I will show you guys a better shot of it. Um, here, I'm just adding in, I showed you guys how I made this. I will put the clips here, but this is literally just from the backyard here. These are clippings, and I did have it in water, but I realized that I would like the look of it more dried out, so I did go ahead and empty the water. But if you want the look of like, fresh leaves, you can leave a little bit of water in here. So I'm actually going to kind of move things around quite a bit until I get things to look how I want them. So this I'm actually going to have on the edge over here. So this lamp is from the Studio McGee collection and the crazy thing about it is it actually arrived, this is kind of all messed up, completely broken. So I just had my grandpa help me cut the electrical cord off because if you plug this in, you would probably get electrocuted. This whole piece up in here is like crushed and cracked. I just kind of have it sitting here, but it worked out pretty good because there's actually no electrical hookup over here. So I'm just using it as decor. So all in all, I'm actually okay with the fact that it arrived broken. Target gave me a refund and told me to go ahead and keep it and use it if I could. So I figured I would just recycle it kind of, cut the cord off so no one gets hurt and just kind of use it as a decor piece because it's still super cute. Sometimes I like to just do things very visually so I will place things and see if I like it and that's kind of where I'm going with the next few steps. So definitely something to keep in mind. 
if you don't decorate it right the first time, you can always switch things around. So I'm gonna go ahead and add like some books, a candle, and maybe this little like wooden pedestal that I have. All right, after moving things around quite a bit, this is the layout that I ended up. I just ended up putting that wooden pedestal over in that corner and it just kind of warms up that space, but I'm so happy with the way that this turned out. Everything kind of goes together perfectly. I think this is literally the perfect entryway. Everything was super budget friendly too. All right, now I'm gonna share with you guys the before and after. enjoyed today's video as always I will have everything linked down below as I mentioned earlier don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye